Hey everyone again. Uh, this is just a quick video on the differences between the motor and battery across the models of the 2021 Turbo Levo range. Uh, we had a few questions about it in the last video, so here I am doing it for you guys. So uh, this is the Turbo Levo Comp here. Um, it's a great bike. It's a great bike. I love it. This is the mid-range within the Turbo Levo series. Um, above it, you have the S-Works model, and below it, you've got the standard Levo. Um, it's important to note that all of these bikes in the Turbo Levo 2021 range have the same battery and motor. So the S-Works version, you're just paying for slightly better bicycle components, or well, arguably better, and the standard Levo, arguably a bit lesser. Um, so the actual motor and battery, and I guess the remote, the remote's up here. Um, so the battery, in all the models, it's the same, runs up here, it's fully integrated. Uh, it's a specialised M2500 across all the models. The motor, down in here, um, that is the specialised 2.1 motor. Uh, it's 250 watts nominal and basically that means that throughout this range you can um you've got 565 watts maximum you can produce pedal assisted specialized claimer to be four times you but that's obviously very individual and it's a 700 watt per hour battery um the 2021 Kinevo, which is the same bike as this, but bigger, so it's got more travel in the front, it's heavier, it's tougher, it's got the, the big boy coil. <laughs> um, the motor and battery in that are exactly the same, so it's the same bike virtually. Same same e-bike, different bike, if that makes sense. So again, that's 700 watt per hour battery. 565 max watts motor now the turbo levo sl models that's the model well it's not it's not actually below i guess it just suits a different type of person uh so the turbo levo sl is a slightly lighter version and a slightly less traveled version than this bike here the normal turbo levo i guess the standard uh so with that being slightly lighter and slightly less travel, there's also a slight uh, slight lessening in the motor and battery. So we've got the specialized 1.1 lightweight motor in the SL instead of the 2.1 motor, which uh, equals less pedal assisted watts basically. So it claims to be able to do 240 watts maximum instead of the full 565 we've got here. And the battery in the SL is 320 watts hour rather than our 700 watts hour. You can get an external battery that'll bring it up to 480. Yep, and the remote, the remote in all of them is the same. Same as this bad boy there. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Short and concise, straight to the point.